Well, it's summertime and you know, we don't want to waste water. We want to put it where we need it. So I'm with Kevin today from the Regional Water Providers Consortium. And so Kevin, what do we do so that we are in the summertime and we're watering when we should and it's vacation time. So what should we be doing? Well, it, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, you shouldn't be doing anything different than you did when you started these up in the springtime. But there's a few tips that we can have, especially if we're going away, we need to be reasonably assured that everything is working the way it should. So that one of the first things that you want to do is just turn them on and take a look and, and see what the coverage looks like. Is it going where it's supposed to go? So in this it case, <laughs> it's not. And so you would want to just come down. These are fairly easy to adjust. And just reach down and turn that nozzle. That's pretty easy. To go where you want it to go. Definitely. And then also, I see that we have a blowout, so sometimes well, that happens, doesn't it? It does, and sometimes it happens when we're gone. Ah. So it's a really good idea to let one of your neighbors know just that you're going to take off and <laughs> that the sprinkler's coming on. So if they see a geyser, and in the process, you should also show them how to turn that system on. Right. It's nice to have a buddy on your block. Right. Definitely. And it's, you know, it's kind of like... Um, you know, let them know who you call. If you have a, a professional that you use, say, well, shoot, if I've got a, a problem here, call this guy. Right, right. Well, we have another location down the block, and we're going to talk about some other tips when we're away on vacation. So let's go over there. Great. All right. So, Kevin, these are some other ideas that we can do for on vacation or if it's very hot. And so containers would be something that we really need to know about. Well, the, the, the containers catch it from all sides that's the bad <laughs> side a plant that's in the ground we're going to have you know mostly the the solar radiation is going to come from the top in a container all the way around the right. roots so not only are we fighting the evaporation and the transpiration we're also fighting the heat one of a, a really good tip to do if you're going on vacation is to actually set your pots in water um, you can see here we've got some pepper plants that are set down and even though that looks like a lot of water and you think you might going to drown it, you got to remember this is going to evaporate over the course of the days and, and the plant is going to use it. So something like this, putting it in a more shady spot is a good idea. The other thing that you can do is, is if, you, if you wanted to, to, to do something like this would be to set up a system to where you can put everything together and, and set up sort of a timer situation oh, or perfect. something like sure. that. That is nice. And b group everything together. And especially if you have friends coming to water, they're not all over the yard. Absolutely. And everything's together. But a couple important things. Um, one is, is that if you have a system of water and you want to give that plant what it needs. So if you're having a neighbor do it, I think it's a really good idea to tell them, look, you know, when you turn this on, only turn it on for 30 minutes right. because that's how much it needs. And please don't forget it and go away. Right. The other thing is, 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 trying to set your times up at such a time where perhaps it's not as early as you would normally do it. Mm -hmm. So maybe your neighbors are up around and walking and, and they go, oh, there's a geyser coming up here. <laughs> right. He's got a problem. And showing them how to turn it off right. is another important part. And then real quick, what about if we have a drip system or just our hoses and check those two? Always. Um, hoses, the, the big thing is, is there's two big things that we find. One is a drip. And if you make sure that your connections are tight and the gaskets are tight before you go away, there's a good thing. The other thing that we find is people forget and they turn them on and oh, forget to I turn them off. Um, the consortium and some of the other water providers often offer these free little timers that will turn it on for 30 minutes and turn it off. So that's a good idea to have. The other thing is, is irrigation is all about managing holes in pipe. And the holes that we know about, that's the ones we want to manage. It's the ones that we don't know about, that's what causes us problems. So taking a walk around, um, turning on your drip system, checking the connections, seeing that the emitters are actually putting out water, really good idea before you take off. Uh, there are so many good tips that we've just talked about, but so much more on their website, conserveh2o.org. So go to Garden Time, we'll click you over to there, and you can be prepared for this hot, the heat in the summer or when you're going on vacation. Kevin, thanks so much. Thank you.